Just off the coast of Playa del Carmen, Mexico, is the island of Cozumel. It is the largest Mexican Caribbean island and boasts crystal clear turquoise waters, making it popular for snorkeling and diving. To get there, I needed to take a taxi from my hotel to the ferry and then get on the ferry for 40 minutes and off to the island. After taking it easy on my first day on the island, I was now ready to explore the island by scooter. However, that didn't start off going to plan. One moment. Okay. Well, I'm really looking forward to today. I'm going down now because I'm going to rent a scooter, which apparently is the best way to see Cozumel in its hole. So I'm going to rent the scooter and I'm going to be taking you guys on a cool trip around the island. Uh, there's a lot to see here, so I think this is going to be the best way to navigate myself for today. Okay, so we're preparing to take the scooter out. I'm quite nervous about this because this is my first time ever driving a scooter. So yeah, I'm really actually quite nervous. <clears throat> But I stopped okay. and then I turned right to the left. The, the camera. To the driver license, please. Yeah. So, literally came down my street, tried to stop, but because it's the first time on the scooter, I wasn't doing a really good job of it, and I got pulled over by the police. Now, first of all, they asked me to pay 80 US dollars to get my uh, international driver's license back. I eventually ended up paying a thousand pesos. So it wasn't a great start to my scooter trip, but now I've gotten into contact with Adam, who's another creator, and I'm going to be meeting him up with him up at the beach. And then we're going to be doing the west, southwest coast up to the east coast. So I'm excited about seeing some beaches. I can definitely use some sun and some sea. And uh, yeah, I'm still looking forward to the day, although I just had like a little mini breakdown when I got pulled over by the police, <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. What up? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's head down to Las Rubas. Just a little further. I've heard this is a really good view. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I think uh, four minutes by motorbike. And nice. <laughs> We've made it to our first public beach, but it's near like the, the beach bars and stuff. But um, here we can just enter the ocean and it looks absolutely amazing. Like I've never seen such crystal clear turquoise water ever before. So I'm really excited to get in. It's so incredible because this is a free beach. Like here you have so many beach bars where you have to pay to use the beach. And we are here in paradise. We didn't pay a thing to get onto this beach. And it's so amazing. Like I even saw like a little stingray thing under the rock. It's crazy. So we're gonna wrap up our time at the first beach, which was absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that water. And there are two ways of like discovering Cozumel. Like you can either stay on the normal highway or there's the old highway that takes you right past the beaches. And with most of the beaches being a paid location and you have to pay to, you know, go to the bar and stuff, there are still some public beaches that are amazing like this. Like this was absolutely free and it's just a little bit south of the Money Beach Bar, uh, which is also a paid beach bar. And like looking forward, these are all paid, but this is absolutely free and it's still your little slice of heaven. And uh, yeah, you still get to enjoy the tropical waters. So we're gonna wrap it up and head off on to the next beach. So we have made it to Playa Palenca, which is a paid beach place where you can come and eat and enjoy the beach. And basically how it works is that you buy your consumptions and it has a total amount of 10 US dollars and then you get to use the beach as well. And since we were really hungry, it was a great way to just have a quick stop, have something to eat and to drink and enjoy the beach. And um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy my veggie fajitas. <laughs> I'm a chicken fajita. Chicken fajitas. <laughs> so when we got our food, the guy said that he gave us a chili sauce of which one drop would be enough because it's really spicy. So um, yeah, I think I put like three drops on it. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so this badass decided to drop the whole <laughs> thing onto his fajita. So how was that? I dropped like, I put like this much in. Like that much. <laughs> it was pretty hot. It was pretty hot. Let's see. Mm. It doesn't hit you right away. It like gradually builds over like 45 seconds and just keeps getting hotter and hotter. I wouldn't recommend eating that much. <laughs> Before heading off to the water, I wanted to have a quick pee break and that is when I was surprised by a kawati. I was really hoping to see one whilst on Cozumel, but I wasn't expecting to see one on my first day of adventuring. I have made it into the ocean. I have borrowed the snorkel mask to see if I can see some fish, but this is just a tropical paradise, guys. Okay, so we've got our scooters again and now we're going to go to the east coast. It is the more rougher and rocky side of the island. Um, so it's probably going to be a bit different than what we've been experiencing so far. Well, we've already made it around the bend onto the east coast. We've just passed the reggae bar. And that means that the circle for me is actually a lot shorter than uh, what I was expecting the island uh, to take. So we're gonna head down a bit more of the East Coast because it's very different to the West Coast. Like the environment has already completely changed and it's very rocky and we've spotted some vultures, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Adam has got some adventure in mind. So we're probably gonna be doing that afterwards. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I think it entails jumping off something. So we'll see. on the east i think we'd given up hope that we would find <laughs> such a beautiful beach but um this is all public and it's beautiful and if you enjoy the waves then i would definitely recommend checking it out I still mentioned that Adam had some sort of adventure in mind, but I have no idea where we are. Like, it looks like we're at the marina. <laughs> There's supposed to be like a bridge to jump off of somewhere around here, I guess. But someone just gave me a pin on the map and I think it's this pin, but I don't really know what to expect. So we're at a marina and gonna look for a bridge to jump off. Oh, of. <laughs> uh, maybe that's it. Oh. Well, in the marina, we can't find the bridge we're supposed to be jumping off of. But just seeing the water is absolutely incredible. It's just a, such a beautiful turquoise blue. Like, it looks so good. After not being able to find the bridge, both Adam and I went back to our separate hotels to freshen up before meeting up for some beers. However, there was also a hurricane on its way, but that wasn't forecasted to hit until later the next day. The next day, I met up with the two brothers that I met who were playing live music two days prior. I told them about the bridge Adam and I were looking for, and they told me they knew where it was. So it looked like I might just be doing some jumping. Oh, wow. Ah, this looks so good. Nice. Can, I just, can I just like jump like... Just, just jump. Just jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no rules. I don't want it. Oh. You jump from higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you survived. Wow. Yeah, I never push myself out of the comfort zone. That was scary, man. <laughs> so yesterday when the hurricane was announced, I was not expecting it to be such good weather. So it's been nice to be able to still go to the beach and do the jump today. 
Uh, we're gonna have some fresh coconuts and then, yeah, be prepared for whatever tropical storm is on the way. Yeah. I need to do four. Okay. Okay, so what you guys missed is I already had the first piece and it landed on the ground. Because <laughs> I was expecting to have strawberry and chili, but it's completely different taste. Okay, now that I'm prepared for it, like, it tastes really nice, <laughs> but it's not sweet like strawberry. So after two days of adventuring, I am back safe in my hotel. I think the last two days have been absolutely incredible, but there is a hurricane on its way. I played it down a little bit earlier in this video, but Hurricane, hurricane Grace, she is definitely on her way. And all the shops closed at 5 p.m. this evening and everybody has to be off of the streets by 8 p.m. So this is where I'm gonna round off the video for you guys. I'm really happy that I, I got to explore the island by scooter. I would definitely recommend taking a scooter and discovering Cozumel because it is just such a great way to get around. It is cheap it is fast you can stop wherever you want it's easy personally i would have liked to have taken some more time along the east coast because it is a bit more rugged and undiscovered it's a lot quieter there and i saw some cool places that i would have liked to have stopped like the coconut syrup bar and the east coast actually also had a beautiful beautiful beach to go swimming and stuff so i would have wanted to take some more time there but there are some amazing spots on the West Coast as well. So overall, I think it was an absolutely fantastic two days and I'm glad I still got to jump off the bridge as well. Yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, just hit a thumbs up or give a subscribe if you don't wanna miss any of the other videos. And yeah, I'll see you on the next adventure.